Don't compare yourself to others because you're always different. Little nuances that make you, you. Salvo songs, take one. My name is Salvo, EDM singer, songwriter, vocal producer, and collaborator. When I was very, very small, I had this little toy piano, and I would constantly play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. My parents were like, stop playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Then I eventually started taking lessons when I was, I think, in like the fifth grade. Went back to it in college because I had to take it. I really liked Furley, so it was pretty easy. I'm not like a super artist with the piano. I can play chords and cadences and stuff like that. Then I started playing acoustic guitar after that. Drift away with me. I will be performing an acoustic version of Drift Away. It was a collaboration between me and this EDM producer named Le Boeuf. Warner Denmark, Chuck Records. I'm super pumped about it, it's been doing really well. I work with a label, they're more like um, a collective in Amsterdam, their name is Vocal Kitchen. They put us in contact with each other. They pitched the, my top line, which is, you know, vocal melody and lyrics. Le both heard it and he was like, yes, I want it. So he wrote to it. I'm super excited with how it came out. He like really brought it to life. perseverance and not losing sight of your goals. Even when you are failing or being rejected, that's still a win because you're still learning something. There's a lot of rejection in this industry, but you have to be able to roll with the punches and really not get too down on yourself. And don't compare yourself to people. That is the biggest one. I had a problem with that for so long. Don't compare yourself to others because you're always different. There's always, you know, little nuances that make you, you. I also have another release out with Future House Music with Robbie East. It's got some violins in it. Caught in the crossfire. That came out two weeks after Drift Away did, and that one's really cool too. A little bit breathy, but light and floaty. A mix of Lana Del Rey and Evanescence. It kind of depends if I'm lower down or higher up, but it's definitely like melodic electro pop. Sometimes I work more in house, sometimes I work more in trap. I've dabbled in both. I have a lot of uh, collaborations out right now. I don't have much salvo, like just salvo songs out, mostly because I'm kind of building and then once I become you know, more established, I want to kind of go in and really just define what my sound is. Um, I work in Logic Pro X. My go-to plugins, <laughs> I'm kind of lazy. I use a lot of CLA vocals. My favorite reverb right now is the MXP reverb from Lexcom Pro. Really like that. Lots of different options for like spaces and rooms and halls and all that. Sound toys bundle. I use a lot of decapitator on like my low vocals, you know, pitching things down. I don't usually use a doubler. I usually like to just take different takes and put them under. I feel like it sounds more authentic and beefy. So I want a really big collaboration by 2020. I would want it to be with Galanis or maybe Felix Snow. Those two, I'm like super pumped about their sound. I'd let him stay there. I'd be like, you're cute. Live in my fridge forever and keep my ice cold, please. Drift on. I think I would pick the melodies because if I was stranded on an island, pretty sure I'd be emotional AF, which means that I would have a lot of lyrics to say. <laughs> melodies sometimes are harder for me, but it really depends on the day. It depends if I'm doing gang vocals, if I'm doing just a regular demo top line, usually around 14, 15 sometimes. If it's just like a verse, and a hook, maybe it'll be like eight or nine, like two mains and a couple octave downs, harmony ups, and then octave ups. Everyone says I look like Anne Hathaway. All the time when I'm streaming, people are like, do you know you look 
look like Anne Hathaway? I'm like, do you know that she looks like me? Thank you. <laughs> no, I could be her little sister, I guess. That's what they always say. I guess it would be Jared Leto. Yeah, he's kind of cute. <laughs> cute! <laughs> I went to ADE, Amsterdam dance event, uh, three years ago. I just know I love to make electronic music. I've never been to Amsterdam and it's gonna be a lot of growth. And I ended up uh, meeting a couple people who had connections with Alan, the CEO. From there, I sent them a couple of demos and he said, let's get to work. Here we are a year and a half later and I have 60 top lines for them to be placed. So yeah, from working hard, just gotta keep popping them out. See where it takes me. I work with an app called Bego Live and I stream uh, for them and host a stream and I do cover music, I play some originals, I do talk shows. They asked me to go out and represent USA last year for their awards ceremony. So I went and I played guitar and sang to about 1500 people and I was very nervous. <laughs> it was like the biggest crowd I'd ever played guitar live for because I don't normally play guitar live or I had done very little of it. Definitely a monumental thing for me. I love you, Bigo. Not yo, not yo. That's like if someone's complimenting you and you're like, no, stop it. You just say, and not yo, not yo. Hey guys, it's Salvo. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvo Songs on YouTube if you search Salvo Songs and Facebook. This one's gonna be really serious. Salvo songs, take one. Salvo songs, take one. <laughs> now you have to do the... Now something. I got Yes. Yes. Because teal is my color. We go, we chain our hearts in vain. I'm wearing TikTok today. I make a lot of hearts. You can find me at Salvo Songs on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also my YouTube if you search Salvo Songs. So this is like the ultimate beat making machine and we're about to make some music here with Salvo. This is what I do. I make noises for a living. Pew, 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 pew. DJ Salvo. Boom. <laughs> hey, this is Salvo and you're watching Vision Quest Sound. <laughs>